Are you thinking of moving to Clarington, Ontario? Want to know all the pros and all the cons of moving there? Well, stay tuned to the end of this video because we're about to get right into that. I love it when it feels like this. So Clarington's a community in the Durham region. It's about 76 kilometers away from Toronto and there's about 105,000 people living there. In 1993, Clarington was formed by amalgamating the town of Bowmanville, the townships of Clark and Darlington, as well as the village of Newcastle. And they got their name by just basically simply combining Clark and Darlington into one and calling it Clarington. Although I think it should be Clarington because, you know, Darlington kind of sounds more like that but anyway I'm just ranting here I don't know if you're thinking about moving here definitely let me know you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we can go over all your real estate goals and needs as well as I'd be happy to talk to you on other platforms you can message me via Facebook Instagram email text whatever you want to do I'm here and I'm happy to chat with you so definitely do that and let's uh, and let's find you a home so back in 2019, Clarington was named Municipality of the Year by Festival and Events Ontario. So if you enjoy festivals and events and stuff like that, Clarington's definitely gonna be the place to go because there's always a lot going on year round. For some of the events you have in Clarington, in the spring, you're gonna have Maple Fest, which is basically just everything maple syrup. So how Canadian, eh bud? Yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I love it, I love it. Then in the winter, you're gonna have stuff like Brimfest, where you're gonna have everything skiing, snowboarding, live music, and just an all a good time at Brimacombe. In the summer, you can enjoy the Mobile One Sports Car Grand Prix or Food Truck Fridays. And then in the fall, you're gonna have Apple Fest. So there's always lots going on here and definitely a big pro of moving to Clarington. Okay, so another pro about moving to Clarington is just basically gonna be your outdoor and recreation lifestyle that you have there. Definitely a lot of outdoor space and lots of forest, nature to enjoy. And of course, like most other places in the Durham region and even in the GTA, when you get to the other side, it's basically right along Lake Ontario. So you have access to Lake Ontario, fishing, sporting, uh, fishing fishing boating whatever you want to do basically lake ontario access is there for you if you're a hiker then definitely check out the orno crown lands which has 13 kilometers of nature trails for you to enjoy and explore you can also check the long salt conservation area okay so the third pro is basically being close to toronto but still retaining that small town kind of charm and vibe you have it's definitely a lot more easy going when you get into clarington you have that nice old school downtown esque areas like Bowmanville the downtown Mwah, it's so beautiful I love it every time I drive through there I'm just incredibly happy because it gives you that real like old-school homely kind of vibe you would get from like one of these smaller towns while still being in a relatively populated area and getting access to all the economic benefits that being close to a place like Toronto provides so definitely just love that small town feel when it comes to Clarington and I think a lot of people enjoy that as well which is why so many Many people have been moving there recently. So another big pro about moving to Clarington is the fact that it's safe there. So the crime rate is 31% less than the national average. And again, just like I mentioned in the Ajax video, which I'll link right there, you can check that out. It is enforced by the Durham Regional Police, which is one of the biggest police forces in the greater Toronto area. They have access to a helicopter. The response time on like high priority calls is about six minutes. So you're safe in Clarington. You can feel safe to raise a family there, which is another pro about living in Clarington is the fact that it's a great place to raise a family. In 2018, Clarington was ranked as the 20th best place in Canada to raise a family. And some of the factors that included to this ranking was like the amount of families there, the cost of childcare, cost of living, economic factors, household income, and many other factors that make Clarington a great place to start or raise your family. So the final pro of living in Clarington that we're gonna get into is the fact that the cost of living there is relatively cheaper than the rest of the GTA. So especially when you're talking about real estate, homes are gonna come in cheaper, rentals are gonna come in cheaper, and just generally anytime the further you get away from Toronto, the cheaper real estate's gonna be. And you know, we say cheaper, but obviously everybody knows relatively speaking, Canadian real estate and especially Ontario real estate is very, very high. So something to consider that it is more affordable than Toronto, Pickering, Ajax, Markham, Vaughan, pretty much anywhere else in the GTA unless you start getting out towards like Hamilton and out there. 
Okay, now let's get into the cons of living in Clarington, Ontario. So the first one's gonna be a big one and it's just gonna be specifically the distance from Toronto. So it's about 80 kilometers away, which doesn't seem like far and in normal traffic, it's about an hour. Like, I mean, if you're driving 100 kilometers an hour, you're coming in a little less than an hour. However, that being said, traffic and everything else is obviously gonna add to your commute time. And then if you're thinking of taking like, you know, public transit or whatever into Toronto, you're gonna have to be transferring between some trains and buses and that'll probably take you like two or three hours i've never tried i have no idea how long it takes to get from clarington to downtown but i'm assuming it's going to be at least two maybe three hours it's not the closest to toronto so definitely a big con about moving to clarington so if you're working from home or you found a job in clarington then you have no problems but if you're working in toronto you may want to consider moving to somewhere a little closer or even just closer to a go station like oshawa so definitely the distance to toronto big con for Clarington okay so the second con of living in Clarington so this isn't the biggest problem if you're living in like you know a suburb or right downtown Bowmanville something like that but if you're living in the rural parts of Clarington you're definitely gonna have some issues with internet connectivity cell service everything like that although they are working on expanding all that in Clarington so Bell is definitely making some upgrades there and hopefully these problems get resolved sooner than later and if not I'm sure Elon Musk and Starlink will fix that for you guys anyway. So a con for now, but as technology and you know the future improves, obviously probably not gonna be as much of a con then. So just probably I would rank this one as like a temporary con for the time being, but definitely a con if you're living in those rural parts of Clarington. So the final con about Clarington, this is gonna be a pretty big one, is the fact that you're not gonna have access to as many services as you would in somewhere like Toronto or Vaughan or Mississauga. It is a more small town kind of vibe place. So if you have an appointment with some kind of specialist or you know you have to go to a specialty store, you're definitely most likely gonna have to go out of Clarington and come closer into the city. Uh, so that's definitely a big con about living there. So those are the pros and cons of living in Clarington, Ontario. Residents of Clarington, I'd love to know how do you feel about these pros and cons? What did I miss? What are your pros and cons of living in this beautiful municipality? Let me know down below, drop those comments. I'm also gonna link my playlist above, which is gonna go to all my pros and cons videos of uh, towns in the GTA. So you can watch those if you're thinking about moving to Durham, York, just anywhere in the GTA. Check out that playlist. It's still in development. I'm, all, I'm gonna be dropping more and more of these videos to come but for the time being definitely go check out that playlist watch the few that are there and if you have any questions about real estate in the greater Toronto area feel free to reach out there's a link to book a call with me one-on-one -on -one down below you can also call me text me hit me up on Instagram Facebook basically wherever you want to find me come find me and I'd be happy to help facilitate your move into Clarington or anywhere else in the greater Toronto area so thank you for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for more of these videos, I would appreciate it as well because it helps me grow not only as a real estate agent, but as a content creator here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Have yourself a lovely day. Bye. I love it when it feels like this.